Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle multiple objects by using Object Explorer detail window in a SSMS. So let me tell you a scenario. First of all, let's say you are working as a SQL Server DBA or a developer and you need to script multiple objects. Let's say we are in SQL 2014 and we are in sales database and I have uh, three tables with the sales schema. If I need to delete these three tables, I have to right click on each of that and delete. So this is a uh, uh, first I will be deleting first one, then I will be going to the second and then I will be going to the third one. Or think about a scenario, if I need to script these three uh, tables, I have to right click, go to the script table as and create and new query. So this is how I will be scripting uh, these objects or tables or views. Now, this is a lot of work, especially when you are dealing with the multiple objects. So what we can do here, we have one uh, feature here, we can go to edit, sorry, view and object explorer detail. So this window is going to help us to script or delete multiple objects. So first of all, once you open this one, uh, object explorer detail window, you will see that it is connected to Amer PC SQL 2014. And here is our database. So this point is really important. You want to make sure if you are connected with multiple servers, if you will click here on the first instance, this is going to be changed. So this window will present you detail according to the instance where you click. So if you are clicking here and you are thinking maybe sales and also you are connected here in somewhere production, you don't want to go to the sales database in production and delete if you are working with the development version of sales. So you just want to make sure every time you do anything, you want to make sure you are connected to this right SQL Server instance or you have clicked on the right SQL Server instance in the Object Explorer. Now let's go to the databases and then we will be going to the sales database and here we have a tables. Now we'll see all those tables here where we can sort by schema and here we have these three tables. If I want to select multiple tables, I can press shift and then I can select them and right click and I can delete three of them in one uh, action or I can script table as create and you can see that it will create the create script for multiple tables. So you can see it, it did created create a uh, statement for all three tables. The same way, let's say if I would like to go to the uh, store procedures, I can go there. This is a uh, up arrow. So I will click here. Then I can go to the pro pro programmability. I can go to the store procedures and all the store procedures are here. If I need to script them out and I can script them as a create definition or drop and create. So I can uh, script them and send to other developers if they need or uh, I can just uh, create my scripts for the deployment uh, uh, purposes. So this is how you will be using uh, Object Explorer detail window, but make sure you always select the right server. What I do if I do not need to work on this production or QA servers, I always disconnect them. So whatever the server I really need, that's the only server I leave here. And then I go to the uh, objects, whatever the objects I need to script out or delete. I, and uh, then uh, uh, from there, I perform all those uh, actions. Uh, here you see that all the views are here. We can delete them, we can script them. So this is a really great way or quick way to generate scripts for the deployment. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next video.